All right, so the next thing that I have done over these water marble nails is I tested out a couple of stamping designs over my test swatches. And I like both of these, but I've decided to go with that one for, um, for this Manny. And so I'm using Beauty Big Bang XL038 plate. And I quite like this one because it's got a lot of floral designs, leafy designs, some wood patterns, random zebra, um, some peacock feathers. And, um, and I can see myself using quite a few of these. I particularly like that one and that one. I'm, this is the one that I am using. I like that one as well. This would be good for a textural design, sort of a wood grain, another wood grain, another wood grain. Um, so uh, I find this plate to be really quite versatile. And um, like all the Beauty Big Bang plates, they're, they're um, uh, etched really well and I haven't had any issues um, picking up any of these designs. So on my nails, I have prepped the water marble nails with uh, liquid latex, which is the water marble edition. I actually did use this for the water marble as well. It's a great one for water marbling. It doesn't fall apart. And that was sent to me um, from Lantern and Wren for review. And I've shown you guys that before. And then because these nails are a day old and they have top coat on them, and um, so the stamping won't stick very well. I put a coat of Orly Bonder sticky base coat over the top of it. And I'm going to be using um, the El Corzon Kaleidoscope Black to stamp with and my Creative Shop uh, Hollow Glassy Clear Stamper, which is my um, favorite stamper to date, and my Creative Shop Really Flexible Scraper. So as I said, I'm going to be using this design here. I am using my little Dollar Tree plastic clothespin, which is acetone resistant. And I'm going to make sure that image is clean. Put blow on it a little, make sure the acetone has dried. Then I'm going to put a nice bit of black on it because this is a negative image so it has a lot of places for the black to settle. Then I'm going to scrape gently three times just because I think I had a piece of lint in there. But I'm going to roll across nice and easy, pick it up, and then I'm going to decide where to place that on my nail and stamp. Okay. Hold, place down the edges, then use some tweezers to peel that off. Okay. And the other thing I like to do is for these extra bits here is I will take a lint roller and pick up any of the spare bits that didn't come off. And that way you use a lot less acetone and um, saves wear and tear on your skin, I feel. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.